Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra. I am virtually making over two different spaces. Space-starved Canadians looking for help are finding it from Alexandra Gator. After being laid off as home editor of Chatelaine, she found wings and her own business. Her contortions of tiny rooms has earned 30 million views. And then I ended up putting the litter box in this closet. Because six months into the pandemic and chaos on the home front has turned into just another day at the office. How's the whole working from home thing going for you? Whoa! What? No! Wisdom and wit from an Apple ad pitching devices as the fix we all need. I have kids all week and I have my mom all the time. But it's transformation, not tech, that is Gator's go-to. It's all about really dedicating a space, you know, that you work at every day and then creating a divide. Her fix is sometimes extreme. This closet in her one bedroom apartment isn't for clothes. How are you going to convince someone that they don't need, like, where are they going to put their, their clothes? I know. Right now, I feel like for so many people, having eight winter jackets is not as important as having an office space. Mm -hmm. We're making these big changes because we, we have to. Our whole, our whole lives and our routines have really shifted. Her target audience are renters who don't have the luxury of a home office. Those who say cramped, unstructured spaces affect mental health and productivity. Gator has felt it too. There was a time where I would do anything for, for a couple of days in a row. Like I just could not work because I did not feel motivated and I feel like so many people feel that way right now. Finally, I'm going to add a basket, somewhere where she can just throw all of her cords at the end of the day. She says tweak little things to change big ones. Keep your desk, computer, documents, cords out of sight of your bed. Dress for work, set regular hours, and a commute of sorts. I think a lot of people, they're mentally getting into the work zone when they, when they go on the TTC or they get their coffee at their favorite coffee shop beside their workplace, whereas that's not a thing anymore. So it's creating your own transition periods. For me, that's getting up in the morning, like I said, getting dressed. I make a coffee, I turn on my diffuser. Battling loneliness is harder. Realizing that collaboration is so, so important. And being surrounded by people, like like-minded people, is so, so important. And I don't think I'll ever take that for granted again. Gator's business is growing fast because the hunger for simple life hacks intensifies good, good. the longer this goes on. For her, ironically enough, coping with small spaces has enabled her to reach out to find a bigger one. She's grateful she can. Thanks for watching.